Okay, guess what? Lunchbox here. Um, I've had a lot of requests to show off my battle jacket that I've been working on, not for a while, but for a few months here and there. Uh, I pretty much, it's patches I've had for, some I've had for almost 20 years. Some I have earned from Premium Edition Games where they have challenges out on their games that they have released over the past few months. And if you do the challenge, meet the requirements, send in proof that you completed the challenge, you'll get a challenge patch. You know, like in the good old days of Atari, you know, doing the score points, scoreboards and stuff like that. Uh, I also got a few pins on here. Uh, I'm still on the search for a pretty rad back patch. So I really don't have anything on the back yet. So, without further ado, pow! Look at that! Woo! All right, what we got? Well, first up, we have a good old Atari patch. You know, my first console was an Atari 5200, so why not? You know, and uh, they're still making games. Kind of, I guess. Uh, yeah, got to have an Atari patch. Uh, next, we have the Xbox Live logo. The original Xbox Live logo, which I've been a member of since, since the beginning. So, yeah, go figure. Oh, this needs no introduction. It's Mortal Kombat, baby. That's right. It's iconic. It's great. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm a big Mortal Kombat fan, so I had to have that. You know, it's a great fighting game. I'm not a Street Fighter fan. Oh, oh no. I'm more of Mortal Kombat and Killer Instinct type of dude, you know. But uh, here we go. We have a pin from uh, Darius from one of the shoot 'em ups can't see it very well but that's okay there's not a lot of shoot 'em up fans which is sad but Darius is a pretty good shump schmump you know it's it's got a lot of history there's a lot of games for it uh let's see down here we got that's right the NES controller keep it real keep it real baby yeah it's classic it's classic and then, here we are. The Premium Edition Patches. Now, this one, this sweet looking one right here that looks like the Nintendo Power logo is uh, the Series 2 Unboxing Patch, which is very, very easy to get. You know, you just go to any of their social links and it's pretty much all the instructions are there. You just get one of their Series 2 games, do an unboxing video, and then uh, send proof of it in. <coughs> now this one, this premium edition patch is their challenge patch for a robot named Fight. This one's called Mouth Meat. A robot named Fight, if you're a fan of Super Metroid, Metroidvanias in general, look up a robot named Fight on the Nintendo Switch. It, it is awesome. It's it's badass. <laughs> it's it's pretty damn cool. But uh yeah, those are my premium edition patches right there. So shout out to Premium Edition and uh Barry and uh old Jeff over there making good good quality stuff over there. You you guys need to check them out. And then we got Woo! One of my favorite bands, Pantera. American Metal, the original Cowboys from Hell. And I believe, I believe that's the only band patch I have, which is sad because I'm a huge Pantera fan, Megadeth, Metallica, ACDC, Iron Maiden, duh. Uh, yeah, I'm getting more band patches. I'm I'm a big procrastinator. 
Um, a lot of you that know me already know that though, right? That's right. All right, <laughs> on the sleeve, Anybody that knows me knows I'm a big Gears of War fan. Because that game kicks ass. I mean, what other game has a chainsaw on your rifle? Yeah, nothing. Duh. Gears of War, the Crimson Omen. All right. <laughs> I was debating whether or not to put these on here or not. But, uh... So, I, I was in the army for a little over a decade and um this right here is the third id patch baby rock of the marn Woo! yeah it's otherwise called the marn express i deployed once with them oh well uh, up above we have the seahorse patch 59th mac mobility augmentation company had some good times with both of these companies, both of these units. Uh, so I decided to put them on there. Why not? You know, I've got I've gotten asked about the seahorse patch. There's a little history behind that. Pretty awesome. And that's that for that side. Let's go up here to the collar. Yeah, it's the Pac-Man ghost. I'm a huge Pac-Man fan, an even bigger Miss Pac-Man fan, which I might do a video tour of my game room someday, and you'll see something, you'll see something of why I'm a huge Miss Pac-Man fan, but yeah, anyways, there's that, uh, up here we have the official Nintendo Game Tester patch. Yeah, I, I don't know. I got that one like 20 years ago or something like that. I don't really remember. It's old. It's one of the oldest patches on here. Uh, but yeah, I grew up a Nintendo kid. I'm in my 40s. Oh, man, I'm getting old. Woo! But yeah, I grew up a Nintendo kid. I uh, love all the Nintendo classics. As you can see up there, by old Fox McCloud and Pac-Man himself. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, anybody recognize that? Mm-hmm. Star Fox, baby. Whoa, man, I love Star Fox. Um, they were handing this patch out when uh, Star Fox Zero came out on the Wii U. Rest in peace for the Wii U. Nintendo abandoned that console, but anyways... I, I, I had a Wii U collection at one point, and uh, Star Fox Zero came out. Man, they were handing out those patches. I was like, man, that's cool. I might do something with it one of these days. And here we are. Whoa, no. All right. And this one I got from the... Uh, where did I get that at? Oh, I got that from the Aliens Colonial Marines Collector's Edition. For the Xbox 360. I think it's the. Uh, what's the name of that ship? It's not the Sulaco. Something else. Anyways. That game. I'm a huge Aliens fan. So. I mean. I've played them all. And they're all good. Even though that one got a bad rap. I mean. The multiplayer was kind of crap on it. But anyways. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, here we go. Game over. Nintendo patch. It's the poison mushroom from the real Super Mario Brothers 2. That, uh, you know, Nintendo deemed that they couldn't release in the U.S. because it's too hard for us. So Japan got it for a while. And then uh, we got it. And you know what? It's not, it's not that hard. I mean, come on. If, if you grew up a Nintendo kid... You should be able to play through that whole game and be fine with it. It's, uh, but yeah, the poison mushroom from Mario 2. That's pretty cool. And I got that one like 20 something years ago as well. And, uh, <clears throat> can't really see it very well, 
but this says Vote Lex 2000. Uh, it has Lex Luthor on it. So yeah, I got that in the year 2000. Uh, big comic book. I'm a big comic book nerd. So um, 20 years ago, I was buying a lot of comics. And uh, they always hand stuff out like that or whatever. So I'm surprised I still have it. I'm surprised I still have a lot of my crap, a lot of my junk. Uh, let's see. Now this one, I have no idea where I grabbed this and that. I'll uh, see if I can get a close-up of this. So that right there is a little dude on a Tauntaun from Star Wars. I, for the life of me, cannot remember where I got that pin at. I, it was with my other pins, so I got it somewhere. I, I can't even remember. So, yeah, there's that one. And, yeah, I'm sure some of you will have noticed. I got to, I got to redo this one. Oh, well. It never ends with a battle jacket. All right, so my daughter picked me up this. That needs no introduction as well. What is that? Oh, yeah, that baby. That's right. It's Batman. And you know what? I'm sure a lot of people wrote off this new Batman film with Robert Pattinson in it. The Batman. I went and saw it. And if you're a fan, you need to go see it. It kicks ass. Like, it's, it's awesome. Go see it. He, uh, he killed it. Him, Colin Farrell, and the rest of them. But yeah, <clears throat> that's the uh, that's one of the original Batman symbols that I like. My daughter picked it out for me. And this pen right here, a good old Hydra pen. Hey, old Hydra! Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge comic nerd. Not even going to go into that. But uh, yeah, yeah, find pens, throw them on your jacket. Or, oh, I got one more. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. From my uh, other one. I th this one. Uh, Wayland Yutani. Building Better Worlds. Oh, this one came from the Aliens vs. Predator Collector's Edition game. Um, huge fan of that fran franchise. Love it. Oh, most of the games are good. Even that one was good. Aliens vs. Predator. I think that, that, that one came out for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. So, yeah, it, that, one's, that one's pretty good. Um, but, yeah, that concludes the video tour of my battle jacket. And you know what? Huge shout-out to Premium Edition Games. Like, man, these patches are, these patches are awesome. Check them out. Huge shout-out to... Jeffrey Wittenhagen, because he's the one that inspired me to find one of these jackets. I was on the search for a vest at first, but uh, <clears throat> I found this on a thrift store on eBay. It was like $30 shipped, and I think most of them are $100 new in stores. So if you want to do something like this, it's easy. Go to the thrift store, check out the jackets. If it's a vest, if you want to do a vest, you can cut the sleeves off. And uh, here's an inside tip. If you do cut the sleeves off, keep them. Because then you can break them down and make an inside pocket for all kinds of cool stuff. Like a flask. Or a taser. Or something else cool. I don't know. But yeah. Get on it, man. Make a battle jacket. Do it. It's freaking awesome. And that, that's it. That's it. There's nothing else, baby. That's it. Go. Hey, go watch the Batman. It's cool. It's awesome. Just do it. And that's it. That's it.